all financial services networks, whether it's credit cards or custody banks or my old business, depository banks, uh, you have an oligopoly of providers inevitably evolves due to regulatory and compliance and interoperability. So, you know, think about you know, Visa MasterCard or BNY Mellon and Northern Trust and State Street and custody. I think we're going to wind up with a very small number of public blockchains that register, ledger, and exchange the world's financial assets. And when I say register, ledger, and exchange, it's important to, to think about that because the credit card networks are messaging networks. SWIFT is a messaging network. DTC is a settlement network, right? So mapping all these things. Blockchains can do custodians or sort of layer twos and layer threes. And if you think about you know, TradFi, you have the credit card networks, you have the bank and issuing banks and brokers, you have the custodians, you have the DTCs. You know, those are all layers of a network. But most public blockchains, if constructed in the right way, they can encompass all those functions at the layer one blockchain level. So it does have the ability to do away with all those intermediaries. And all those intermediaries in TradFi exist because you need to bring trust into the system. I could sell you 100 shares of Amazon, you could pay me $100, but how do I know you're gonna give me the $100 and how do you know I'm gonna give you the Amazon shares? Well, if we had a distributed ledger, we could actually fulfill that trade right here on stage instantly. We don't need a T plus three, T plus two, introducing broker dealers, custodians, DTC. We don't need all those people involved in our trade. We could face off bilaterally. And that's the promise of blockchain. And you could do that across all asset classes. Now, also important to know that securities will never be the Bitcoin dream of anonymous and decentralized. Like you're always going to know who's securities. You're always going to have to be able to claw it back. These are not bearer instruments. You can't lose your keys. So you have to overlay all that when you think about crypto. So blockchain, you know, like, is, it, is blockchain crypto, is crypto blockchain? Yeah, they're inter-reliant on each other and they need each other, but they're very separate from a, a, an operational construct.